Performing with the kids from the Save the Music Foundation is gonna be incredible. They're probably super nervous, but me being a musician that started when I was about their age, maybe even younger, they're gonna look back years from now like, wow, I really did my, you know, I had the bravery to, to go up on stage and do something that I love and people actually are appreciating it. And I think it's, it's a really, really dope thing. I'm excited about it. Any program that allows kids to explore their passions and um, have instruments available, accessible, like that that's just a really important thing because there's so many kids out there who may be the next Quincy Jones or the next Prince or, you know, the next Chick Corea or Herbie Hancock, but they don't have the tools. And it's just a really special thing for somebody like me to to be able to be an inspiration for those kids. I think about when I was a kid and I was just like them, you know, wanting to be on a stage, eager to, to perform, eager to be able to play an instrument without somebody saying like, turn that music down or, you know, or you're just a kid. Like it's, that's the time to, to explore. Everybody wanna be my guy yeah. and my girl too. I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm 21 now, I'm 21. I wrote the song 21 for fun. Honestly, I was like on tour and just thinking about my whole year and like how crazy my journey has been, how, how far I've come. It was more than I expected, you know, being 21 was like, wow, I'm, I'm really living a different life than a lot of 21 year olds out here. So um, it's really just about that. And kind of like the, the cool side of like, all these things, these great things that are happening to me, like the, the funny little quirks of, of being an artist. Lately, I've been thinking about my journey, but you know, when everybody talks about how much I've accomplished and how much I've done, I'm like, I, it's just the beginning. That's the scary part, you know? It's like, this is literally just the beginning. I've been doing music since I could talk. The fact that I've made my dreams a reality and my visions a reality, I just feel like now it's about taking everything to the next level and continuing to prove myself and work even harder. It's easy to be 22 years old and be successful and get comfortable. And that was, that's not who I am at all. It's not what I wanted to do. I just, I find new ways to get better and challenge myself. and. The next few years are just gonna be like even more of a grind than they were before, you know? And also making sure I take those moments to enjoy it. Cause sometimes you can work so hard that you forget to enjoy and sometimes smell the roses. So it's like right now I'm finding that balance, but it's all about elevation. Like that's my theme for 2019, elevation. My new project, it's really my debut album and I can't even say that anymore because so much has happened between my first project that I didn't expect, but this is really going to be my um, official debut album. And uh, yeah, new music. It's I'm in the studio now, in and out, you know, when I have the time, because I'm busy now. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's gonna be, you know, her, but elevated. Like I said, that's my word. So I think everybody's gonna enjoy it. And when I found out that I was gonna perform at the VMAs, I was honestly a little bit nervous and I don't really get nervous very often, but it's just such a huge stage and there's so many artists I look up to that were on that stage before me. So I'm honestly really excited. I'm looking forward to it just cause it's like, it's the VMAs. Like I, I can't believe it. It's a dream come true. I was watching the VMAs as a kid. Like when am I going to be up there? And now the time is here and it's like, you really can't, like, I, it hasn't really processed yet. Like I feel like it's not going to be real until I get up on that stage. The process, you know, for preparing for an award show is, it's gonna be different because it's like, okay, I got one song, I have to make it spectacular, I have to make it have all the elements that I feel like represent me because there are gonna be people watching VMAs that have never seen me before, many people that have never seen me. So um, it's really just about really showing who I am and what my artistry is about in one song, which is kind of a hard thing to do, but um, I think, I think I, I'll do it. I'm gonna be performing a song that's actually unreleased. And this song is just so telling to my personality and who I am and what I represent. And I think on that stage, you're gonna see that. First time being nominated for three VMAs. I'm just excited. Like, there's no other word for it. It's, it's a dream come true. It's like, I don't know, just, just watching like Alicia Keys at the VMAs and all these other artists that I've looked up to, it's just like, wow, I'm gonna be up there now. Like, it's my turn. But there's so many dope artists that are also nominated. I'm just honored to be named amongst them.